Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States and the only president to wear a weave. During his time in office, there have been several issues that he has been intently focused on. Things like cutting regulations, pulling out of Iran, and legalizing flag marriage. But the one issue that he cares about more than anything else is his big, beautiful border wall. You know, build the wall, build the wall. In many ways, the wall is the sun Trump always wanted. <laughs> it's taller, stronger, and somehow smarter. <laughs> and now, now the president is trying to groom the next generation of border wall lovers. A White House Halloween party reportedly featured a station where children were encouraged to help build the wall with their own personalized bricks. Yahoo News says the party took place at Eisenhower Executive Office Building, which is used by White House staff. Okay, okay. People might be pissed off about that, but wait until you find out that the kids were also encouraged to find dirt on the Bidens. <laughs> Trump was like, I got a Kit Kat for anyone who brings me Hunter Biden's password. I call it Kit Pro Quo. <laughs> But yeah, I, uh, I think we can all agree that children on Halloween should not be building a border wall. The only way that's appropriate is if the kids were building a wall over Rudy Giuliani's office door. Then it's okay. <laughs> then it works. <laughs> so that was on Halloween, right? That was on Halloween. <laughs> but it seemed like this was a wall-themed weekend for Donald Trump, because on Friday, at a rally in Mississippi, the president was boasting once again about just how impenetrable his border wall is. This is a very serious wall. This is the exact everything they wanted. I said, give me the specifications for the wall. They said, well, sir, we'd like steel, but would also like concrete and would also like rebar. I said, well, what do you want? Which one? So I did all three. <laughs> because it's a different form of cutting. You can cut through steel, but you can't through the concrete, and then you can't through the hardened rebar. We got it all. And we also need see-through, sir. Got to see who's on the other side. That makes sense, right? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you got to have a see-through wall, because if the wall's not see-through, the only way to know what's on the other side is by yelling, Marco, and hope they yell, Toto. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> but, but... Some Mexicans aren't named Marco. A lot of people don't know that, folks. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> but yes, on Friday nights, Trump gave his usual unhumble brag about how nothing can get through his wall. And you know how in a, in a sitcom, when they cut right to the next scene? Uh, well, cut right to the next scene. According to the Washington Post, Mexican smuggling gangs have repeatedly sawed through sections of Trump's new border wall. Smugglers are using a cordless tool known as a reciprocating saw that pretty much sells at hardware stores for as little as $100. And when you fit it with specialized blades, the tool can pretty much slice through steel and concrete barriers within minutes. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Just after Trump bragged about his super wall, we learned that smugglers have been cutting through the new border wall with basic tools that you can buy at any hardware store. And I honestly wouldn't be shocked if the guys at Home Depot showed the smugglers how to do it, because... Because <laughs> those guys will help you with any project. Yeah, they don't judge. They're just like, hey, buddy, you need help with anything? You're like, yeah, uh, I want to open a safe that's not in my house. It's like, okay, you'll need a power drill. L7. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is this a bank safe? Uh, yeah. Oh, then you need a blowtorch. L5, L5. <laughs> also, zip ties for the guards. L2. My man. <laughs> now... Now, you might think that Trump would be humiliated by the news that smugglers are cutting through his uncuttable border wall, but clearly, you don't know Trump. When asked if he was concerned that people were able to cut through the border wall he has been touting for so long, this was the president's response. I haven't heard that. We have a very powerful wall, but no matter how powerful, uh, you can cut through anything, in all fairness. You know, cutting, cutting is one thing, but it's easily fixed. One of the reasons we did it the way we did it, it's very easily fixed. You put the jump back in. But we have a very powerful wall. But you can cut through any wall. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, for four years, this guy told us the wall would be impenetrable. But now he's like, yeah, of course, you can cut through anything, of course. <laughs> in a span of few hours, Trump's wall went from being Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> to literally any other guy named Dwayne. That's what just happened there. <laughs> What happened, huh? And also, and also, if Trump is saying he built it on purpose to be something that's easy to open and then close, it isn't a wall. My man, you built a door. 
I feel like that's where this whole thing is headed. Trump's just gonna come out like, we put a door on the southern border so much easier. They can open it, but afterwards it can also be closed. <laughs> and who's gonna close it? Mexico! Close their door! Close their...